what is going on welcome back to PTT today we got a 16550 with 30k on it yep super duty number one we are rolling with my favorite 67 and this guy has a big boy PTO running off the engine um, he came in for two problems Two main problems um, his blower only working on low the HVAC system and the alternator light on and uh, I found I had to take all this stuff apart I didn't want to make a video on it because I've already made one on it uh, but my problem was the uh, circuit that goes behind the alternator down in the trough up around and up to the passenger side battery where the fusible link is down in here so I had to make a repair to the circuit over here we got the alternator light off we're charging and I wanted to save uh, the last big repair uh, for the end because today we have to pull the dash unfortunately to get this blower motor controller out uh, the dash has got to come out the heater case has to be removed and then the blower controller would be accessible. The truck did come in with a burned up AC compressor. I forgot to mention that to you. So I've already went ahead and evac the AC. I've drained both cooling systems. Um, so uh, yeah, let's get started. Well, let me start off first by showing you what we're gonna be contending with here. We are a super cab, I'm sorry, a single cab, and we are gonna be fighting with this. I've never had to work around a dash with that before, so hopefully we can get that out of our way. Um, this hammer do, I'm not sure what you do with this, but uh, we're gonna find an appropriate use for that. We've got this guy we're gonna have to mess with. Four by four shifter, probably have to take that out so that bottom of the dash isn't going to get you know inhibited by that uh, we're going to go over uh, my way of removing the dash i'll put a link in the description for the video that i did when i was replacing the uh, ac uh behind the dash uh, that one was full of hair if anybody remembers pretty plain except for those two things let's get started boys what I like to start off doing is removing everything in the vehicle that it did not come with. I want everything out of my way. Let's go to the other side. Can't forget the hammer. Uh, we'll put it up here for, for later. Get this man out of here. We are going to need to remove this, which is going to require us to remove that, which is going to require us to move to remove this. So let's get this thing out of here on both sides. Next shot, we're gonna be missing some trim pieces. Okay, now that all these are removed on both sides, I uh, should have told you to go ahead and pop both of these off. We're not gonna need these, those will be for later. That's why you just take your little screwdriver and just get up in that crack. And just peel it right out. Okay, I'm on the outside of the windshield in the dash inside you need to pop that panel off right there you sit, stick your little trim tool your little screwdriver there and the passenger has got one too remove both those plugs let's see if i can let's see if i can at least do this one just like that no big deal you got two bolts down in there i'll show you that guys here in a little bit right underneath here is a seven mil bolt screw that you need to take out so that you can get your parking brake uh, lever released out of the way. Rip that out, save the screw, let it hang. Just dangling, rusty ass screw. Why it's so rusty, nobody knows. Got that just sitting there. I'm gonna keep all my screws right there. Uh, go ahead and rip this panel off. Got a couple connectors down here. You need to disconnect this connector and uh, this one right here too. Two different ones. Disconnect them, let them hang. Both connectors disconnected and hanging. 
Uh, however, with this being a plow truck, there is a lot of extra BS that I'm gonna have to tend with here. Uh, what I'm gonna do before I continue showing anything else is I'm gonna go ahead and clip. Dang, that's not good. I'm gonna go ahead and clip all these uh, aftermarket wiring tethered zip ties and I'm going to try to dissect and let everything that I'm gonna have to hook back up hang so that I can get back to uh, my factory stuff. So that's the only thing that sucks when you're doing dashes. All right, everything aftermarket wise so far is disconnected. Um, I legitimately do not know where any of this goes now. I don't know. I'll have to call some special crew in to hook all this back up. Nonetheless, it's all ready to be disconnected on this side. Got our two connectors just dangling. This big boy, I just leave right here. Please, please, please do not forget your satellite radio connection. Let me get this light on, which goes right here. You got this little guy that plugs in, and if it does not disconnect correctly, squeeze this button, then you wind up pulling the insides out or that pin in the middle. So don't forget it. I took this panel off right here, this panel, this bracket off. That goes right there. It's a support for the driver's side of the dash. I uh, disconnected the plow truck lights that has had some part connectors. Uh, currently, right now, what I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna leave that thing on. I'm gonna disconnect the four x four shifter and I'm gonna make my way across the inside of the truck. Um, before I do that though, I just realized I'm going to have to disconnect the shift linkage. Let's take, let's take this off together, shall we? Uh, that's a seven, I need a five five. All right, five fives. Let's peel this apart. Hung up on the passenger side. Anytime that hook wants to come out, no problem. Okay, this can be kind of tricky for you guys. So what I do is go all the way down and then just work it out to the side. Slips right off. So that's the connection we need right there. We're gonna disconnect that, like that. And then this guy here, we're gonna push this little tab and just work, work this thing out. There we go. Oops, sorry about that. We got uh, one more way back there. Oh yeah, right there. So we're just gonna leave, leave that girl flopping right there. You see the looseness. Uh, we will have to disconnect our steering shaft bolt right there. But before I do that, they want you to remove the steering wheel and all that malarkey when it goes zip tie. Let me just do it and I'll show you. This is all I want you guys to do. Just get you some zip ties and zip tie the steering wheel to the shifter column and the steering wheel stock. Steering wheel ain't going nowhere. Clock spring ain't getting messed up. So then that will allow us to come down here. Let's go get our, come for a walk with me. Hold my hand. Let's get a 10 really. 10, nope, 11, nope, 10. She's a 10, 10. Let's get this girl on here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, all right. My mat moved. Let's get this bolt out. Perfect. Okay. So now, let's get that light back on for you. Bolts out, you should be able to just take your steering shaft and let it wiggle right down. Just like that, just like that. It's not going anywhere, very good. So now I would say the driver's side's pretty much done. Gonna look something like that. I know it's kind of overwhelming looking at this point right now, but uh, it ain't too bad, it's been worse. All right, so right now, since we have gotten everything that we need on the driver's side. We can start getting to the middle 
of the truck. I showed you guys this bracket so I can get the fasteners and the bracket out of here. I didn't want to forget to show that to you guys. Okay, so our four by four. Gonna pop this up off the flow. Like that. Okay. And we got another 10 milli bolt. Let's see if we can finagle this guy out the way. 10 milli coming at you. You know something, Milwaukee? I want to talk to you guys. I got something to say. Do you guys have something to say? Pull this thing right off. And our 4x4 shifter. Pull this thing right off, just like I showed you, but you couldn't see. Pull that thing off, just like that. All right, I don't know how that's gonna go. Hopefully I can unbolt it and just lay this thing on the floor is what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping to lay it like right here on the floor. That would be, that would be G. All right, let's go to the passenger side. Passenger side, and we need to focus here on the BCM. All these connectors, these harnesses that are going up right, uh, you know, right up in here, all this stuff is staying with the dash. So we need to disconnect the antenna, we need to disconnect this one, we need to disconnect this one, and this guy, and this guy. These two connectors right next to each other. So let's get those fixed. These five right here is what you need to disconnect on the passenger side. This connector, antenna, and these three BCM connectors right here. They go into one harness all the way at the top where you can't see my hand, I can feel it going to one harness. Disconnect these. Yes. Yes. What I envisioned. Yeah, boys. That dash coming out now. All right, we got some 10 millis right here. That 10 millis got to come out. You got two of them over there on the driver's side, and I am able to get them with my 3 8 electric gun. Remember not to grab the steering wheel. These ones are a little tighter to get to. There's one, there's two. So whatever you gotta do to get those out, I'm gonna get those out right now. So uh, yeah, good luck to you. Some of the last bolts you're gonna do are gonna be these ones right here, you know, inside the door jam. But before we do that to both the passenger and driver side, see those two there? We need to get the one that is in this hole. Yeah, right through there. So go ahead and pull, pull your mirror in so you can get a little bit more room. Get this rubber plug out the way. Okay, you see we got two pieces of metal to go through. Ah, there's my bolt, so let's be very careful and get this out. What you want to do is something like this. Go on ahead and apply a couple layers of tape to my customer's fender and door. And I'm going for a setup like this, 3-8. Let's get this monkey butt in here in the vicinity. Now it's trying to get the socket on. All right, we are on. Okay, pull this out. Try to use my magnet you see it sitting in there all right now we're gonna go back to the bolts that I showed you prior to me getting to this one the debt that the, the, the dash has some dowels that sit in the body in theory it fall out on you. you can see the big uh, the big stud this is the alignment dowel that goes into the body same bolts all the way around that hold the dash in. I'm gonna put these right there. All right, let's go to the other side. And let's get these ones. Then I'm gonna need a helper. Okay. That leaned forward pretty far actually, so. Note to self, have a helper nearby, because this thing's about ready to fall out by itself. Let's get this thing up, get some more room in this boy, get these tools out of the way. Let's get this dash out of here, guys. Yeah, boom, dash is out. The only thing that I forgot to tell you guys, I was a dumb dumb. Drop 
your glove box and just disconnect these two connectors. I don't know why I didn't even think about that. Um, yeah, disconnect those. This is your whole heater case, blower motor, got a couple of mode door actuators, one over here, um, you know, to work your floor defrost and vent functions. Uh, this is your supplementary heat. So the trucks that have that option on it, there's a little uh, electrically controlled heating element in here that, um, you know, when the temperature is right, a little temp sensor in there, uh, it'll activate that to give you faster cabin heat. Nonetheless, I have, like I already told you, disconnected the uh, coolant and the AC. This just reminded me of something. So all the trucks pretty much have this connector deadheaded like that. Why it's not facing downwards, don't know. Customer kept stuff on his dash. Everything plinkoed all the way through and a coin fell down in here and shorted two pins out and made the reverse lights go on intermittently as it would rock back and forth. So guys, don't keep uh, change on your dash. Blower motor controllers behind here. Unfortunately, there's no real way to sneak this out. Lo and behold, check it out. I got this bugger out without even removing the case. So, if one had to do this job, I would say you would not have to drain your coolant or evacuate your AC. This thing sits in the back of the case like this, and it has to slide over like that. I don't know if you guys can see this, but let me turn my light on. There, okay, that tab right there, that tab, right there is supposed to sit right here where my finger's at. So you push this down and then slide this out, slide this to the driver's side and then pull this out of the heater case. So what I wanted did, I took out the fender liner and these are the connections I was showing you where you'd have to go. I got one stud right there peeking through. I disconnected that, that stud, and there's actually a bolt Right on the other side of uh, the firewall here, I can't uh, can't really give you a good shot. Put my finger here. This is where the bolt head is right here. I, I'm, I'm, I can feel the bolt head. All I did was loosen it and pulled it back far enough, pulled one out, and I'm gonna try to put the new one in. I went like this, I'm gonna have to go up and then in, and we should be able to get it in there. Came out, it's going in. All right, this is actually how I'm sitting to do this. Let me get the light back on here. I went, let me get the old one. Oh. I feel like I'm gonna get a cramp in my left knee. I went in up behind the heater case like this into this area. So right here where my fingers are, you would be seeing this right here. So I'm trying to orientate this in your guys' visualized minds. It's gotta go up like this. And I'm, I'm tugging. You can see how far away from the firewall the case is. It's not that much. I'm just giving it a little little tug. You guys can see it. I mean, it's not really moving that much. But I got it in the hole. Now put it in and you're gonna have to, let's, hold on, get it in the ears and then slide it just like that. So now this thing, I cannot wiggle this thing out. Here's the electrical connector. It's gonna be facing like this. Get it looped back around and then, uh, with my fingers. Okay, so try to fiddle like this thing in. There's no way I could show you this unless I had the case all the way out. Come on, a little little connector. Man, I just can't can't get it connected here. Oh, okay. Got it in there. Tugging on it. Oh, pull out. That is an easier way to remove that blower motor controller. By golly, man. Um, gonna tighten those nuts I showed you guys and gonna throw the dash back in going to reverse the removal process gonna put my PTO stuff back on don't forget your connectors here I don't really need to show you the install because that was the most important part right there make sure to drop by the comment section smash that like and uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, make sure to check me out every Friday for your super duty power stroke needs all right you guys thanks for watching We'll see you next Friday. See you.